you're planning a virtual wedding because you want to get married now. And I don't blame you. I would too. But a virtual wedding is different. But even though it's different, it's still your wedding day and it should still feel and be special. Today, we're continuing our virtual wedding series with another way to help make your wedding day special by using what you have. Hi there, I'm Jamie Chang, your destination wedding planning guru and designer of Joy at Mango Muse Events and the creator of Passport to Joy, the step-by-step -step online wedding planning course for couples. And I share real and honest and useful wedding planning tips, tricks, and advice you can use to help make planning your wedding easy and more joyful so you can create a wedding you love. Because let's be honest, wedding planning isn't always happy. In fact, it can be super stressful, especially now, and nobody wants that. So we're bringing the joy back to wedding planning. Are you ready? Let's do this. Now we're continuing our virtual wedding series and talking about how to make this different kind of a wedding, this virtual wedding special because it's still your wedding day and it should still feel and be special. Now, if you haven't checked out our other videos, you definitely should go do that. We've talked about your ceremony, your guests and doing the abnormal. So definitely go check those out if you haven't and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get access to all of our new videos, both in this series and in the future. Now today we're talking specifically about another way to help make your virtual wedding special. And that's by using what you have, or as I like to call it, using what your mama gave you. Now, obviously we're not literally talking about what your mother gave you, but literally using what you have. For many of you, you know, your virtual wedding will be at home or it might also not be, but either way, a way to make your virtual wedding special is by utilizing what you have in a new way. Now this includes both physical things, but also the space that you're presented with, whether that's at home or somewhere else. So we're going to talk through some examples and ideas to get your brain thinking and for you to start thinking about what you have. So for starters, let's start with your space. Now you'll be looking for that spot, you know, that special spot for your ceremony, for your first dance, for you to gather and celebrate with your loved ones. You know, that chosen spot is what your guests will see. It's your backdrop. And it's also what really sets that mood. Now, if you have a backyard, that's obviously a great place. If you have a deck, that's great as well. But things like a fireplace or a window or a balcony or even a doorway can be a great focal point. In addition, obviously rooms like a dining room or a living room can be great rooms for you to think about because they're larger in nature, but it could also be another room that you have that maybe for one reason or another could be a good spot as well. Now I get it if you're in a small apartment and don't have a lot of room, you know, this can prove to be maybe a little bit more tricky and might be the hardest part for you about this but I bet you there is a spot. I bet you, you have a spot and you may just need to look at your space maybe a little differently or see your space from a different point of view. So I challenge you, challenge you to take a look at your space and see it maybe in a different way than you would normally. And don't forget, you can also do things like shift furniture. Now, obviously I don't want you to do anything that will hurt you, you know, if you have back problems or whatever. So don't do any of that, but potentially a little shifting could create the perfect spot. So think about it, challenge yourself, take a look at your space and think about it with the wedding in mind. Now, if you're not getting married at home, still getting married virtually, but not getting married at home and perhaps somewhere else, and let's say your stay at home orders have been lifted and you're allowed to sort of venture out of your home, then take a look at the space you're thinking about or the venue you're thinking about and find that spot that will just showcase your 
virtual wedding well. Now you're looking for something that's kind of pretty or something that's fun. And remember, it doesn't have to be, you know, traditional. You can have fun with this. This is a not a traditional wedding. So it could be somewhere that maybe is a little out of the ordinary and that's okay. Kind of harkening back to our last video, something a little abnormal, not a bad thing. So think about it because you also don't have a big group of guests. You may not have any guests depending on what your, you know, state or county's restrictions are. So take a look at what makes sense for you and what would be kind of a fun space that you want to get married in. One thing to note is you want to make sure you have good internet wherever this space is, because if you're streaming, that's going to play a big part in that experience too. Okay, now let's talk about physical things. So besides obviously the space itself, decor in some shape or form will help add to that specialness, to creating that mood, to creating something pretty and fun. And you likely have a lot of things that you own already, things in your home. And it may not be sort of traditional wedding-y things, but chances are you have something or some things that could work. So take a look at what you have and, you know, see how you can use it perhaps in a different way for your wedding. So that could be easy things like scented candles or potted plants or Christmas lights, but it could also be things like ribbon or tissue paper, perhaps that you have. It could be books or assorted random glassware. It could be a ceramic bowl that you have or things maybe that you've picked up from your travels. You want to think about what you have and how you could use it in a different way, whether that's as a backdrop or something that surrounds you or something that goes on a table or, you know, on a mantle or something on a bookshelf, or it's something even on the floor that helps set that mood. Now, the great thing about a virtual wedding is that a little decor can really go a long way because you're really just focused on kind of that one area, the one area that you're gonna be celebrating in. So, you know, it, it kind of makes it a little bit easy on you. You don't have to have tons of stuff. Now, you're likely also celebrating on your own as well with your partner in some shape or form outside of sort of what maybe your guests are seeing. So make sure you're thinking about those areas too. And they might not be many areas and they might be the exact same area, but think about it. So that might be, you know, setting your table with your best plates and silverware and glassware. Or, you know, if you have a tablecloth, you use that or light some candles, you know, it will only add to the specialness. So see what you have and use it in a new way because it is a way to make your virtual wedding special, just utilizing what you already own, but you know, in a different light, in a, in a new way. And sometimes that's an easy translation. You know, candles are obviously pretty easy. That's sort of an easy wedding, home to wedding kind of translation, but Sometimes it requires seeing something in a new light. So take a look, take a look at what you have and have some fun with it. I think it's also important that you, you know, just sort of look at it and realize that you have more than you probably realize because you probably do. You likely will be surprised at what the possibilities are when you take a look at it in that new light, when you take a look at it from a different angle. I bet you have more than you realize and you can do something fun and different and beautiful. All right. We are really excited about this, this whole virtual wedding series. And so we're continuing this and we want to make sure that you, I want to make sure that you hit subscribe so that you can get access to all of our future videos, both about virtual weddings, but about wedding planning as well. So make sure you hit subscribe. All right. I have a question for you now. And the question is this, what's something that you have that you own that you're going to use in a new way for your wedding? 
let me know in a comment below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like it, give us some thumbs up. You can check out our other videos for even more wedding planning tips. And of course, hit subscribe so you can get access to all the new ones. And if you want help through the entire wedding planning process, please check out my online course, Passport to Joy. You can find the links below because you deserve to enjoy your engagement, no matter what your budget is and even in the middle of a pandemic. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.